we saw the distribution of temperature in the atmosphere in the troposphere with height the temperature decreases and this decrease of the rate is called environmental lapse rate on an average it is about 6.5 degree celsius per thousand meter that means that once in a kilometer the air temperature decreases by 6.5 degree celsius and this is normal in the case of trans troposphere and sometimes opposite to this normal phenomena occurs that is called temperature inversion so this temperature can uh, temperature inversion can occur in the lower layers or in the upper layers of the troposphere that means instead of the temperature decreasing with the height here the temperature increases with the height that means that more cold air will be down, down and warm air will be on the upside so this represents a stable situation because the whole cold air will be more denser and more heavy and they tend to stay in the surface but whereas warm air will be less denser and they try to move up so in normal situation warm air will be down and they will try to move up and it will raise, give rise to the convective currents and this convective currents cause different weather phenomena like uh, storms or precipitation or something like that so the temperature inversion phenomena represents a rather stagnant condition right that means there is no vertical movements happening here the air remains like that on the surface for a longer time and how this temperature inversion happens this there can be different reasons for the temperature inversion first will be the radiative cooling so this occurs when the nights are long long nights means the earth will get more time to radiate its energy because we know night, day time it receives energy and night time it will radiate the energy when the nights are long during winter season <coughs> the earth surface will get more cooled that means at the surface will be cool so here the temperature inversion happens so this is a phenomena during the long winter nights and another can be the valley valley cooling here the cold air may travel down the valley because of its weight and they try to stay down so that the warm more warmer air will be on the upper side so it is a drainage of cold wind from uphill to the downhill because of the topography this is uh, common in the valleys mountain valleys and another reason can be because of the air mass so air mass is a extensive air parcel which covers a larger distance and this air parcel will be having homogeneous atmospheric parameters like temperature and pressure of the air partial remain same for a longer area a larger area and when a particular cold air mass is resting on a surface this is a cold air mass and on warm air mass is coming from another place and this warm air mass get just uplifted over the cold air mass so here also the temperature inversion happens and this temperature inversion has a relation with the pollution what is the relation so the temperature inversion does not allow the vertical mixing of the air or the diffusion of the air it means that the pollutants which are there in the cold air mass will remains on the surface without getting either diluted or dispersed it won't get diluted 
it won't get dispersed so the pollutants will accumulate on the surface and increases the pollution so if we see that most polluted cities in the world including our national capital delhi or the mexico city in mexico these cities are located such that temperature inversion is common here either because of the radiative cooling or the valley cooling or because of the air mass or due to their location in the subtropical high pressure beds so do, uh, if the place is located in the subtropical high pressure belt the vertical mixing of the conductive current of the air is suppressed because there will be more pressure and because of the high pressure there won't be any vertical movements of the air and the pollutants tend to accumulate on the surface for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com